Hi, Sheolua. Hi. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So how long have you been meditating for? I would say about two years now that I'm consciously away. Mm. You probably used to think it was daydreaming, deja yes. vu. Have you been enjoying it? <laughs> so far, so good. Yes. yes. Many, many benefits for sure. What led you to start coming to Hour of Meditation? I think for me, it's the concept of doing things Corporately, Dr. Emmanuel Adewusi had told me to sort of start, mainly because I used to have quite a bit of anxiety. Doing meditation myself was a little bit of a struggle, just because I didn't know how to start and where to start from. Usually I would just pick on scriptures or something that I wanted to know more about, but it was still a little bit all over the place. So when I heard that we're going to be doing something like this, I was definitely very excited. What were you hoping to gain from your first session coming? Honestly, I don't know what I was hoping. I didn't have like one set expectation. One of the things I had told God was just do whatever you wanted to do. Right? Because again, I used to practice it before, but more corporately, I wasn't sure what to get. I just came with an open mind for my first session, actually. What were the differences for you from doing it by yourself versus doing the guided meditation with Dr. Emmanuel in the sessions? Besides, obviously, it being corporate, what were the things that you noticed were significantly different between those two? My mind didn't wander as much. For sure. When Dr. Emmanuel is guiding us through, I'm able to follow what he's saying. Um, whereas doing it alone, um, it was a struggle. <laughs> and how was that first session for you? Great. I was actually super exhausted. I hadn't slept the night before um, and I wanted to cancel, <laughs> but I showed up and it was amazing. I felt very, very much energized. It's like I had slept for like hours and rested for like hours. So yeah. So you described how you know, it gave you energy. What did that feel like emotionally and physically? For me, peace, for one. My mind was very clear. Like usually I would have quite a bit of things on my mind, but there was that clarity. I was literally not thinking about anything. Um, with regards to the energy, I was really exhausted. I don't know how to explain it, but you feel like you've come alive, like you were sleeping before. Now everything is just alert. Like I felt like I could actually run a marathon that day. That was how I was feeling. After that first session, what made you come back? What made you say, I want to continue, you know, doing this guided meditation session on Saturdays? I think one, commune with God, um, right? And the other thing was I started to have a lot more expectations. I wanted to see what else there was to uh, meditating. How did that difference show up in your life after the sessions when you would walk away each week? The first day, I did feel something right away, but subsequent sessions, most times I actually didn't feel any change immediately, but throughout the week, I could tell. Like, I felt more joy, more peace, and to give more, like, a practical example to how it's helped me, with my new job currently, one of the things that I've had to do is more like a case manager type work and something I've never done so I didn't deal with those kind of things and I remember my boss giving me some paperwork to like go through and I was looking through it initially but I didn't know what to do I was so confused but I remember going home and then meditating that night and then in the morning once I got to work I turned off my lights <laughs> um, tried to meditate again and then I was opening the pages and I kid you not it was almost like a light bulb came on for everything I was reading, I'm like, oh, that makes sense. Or there's a problem here. So that would be a practical way. So getting solutions from meditation is what I would say. What about in terms of your relationship with God? How did this deepen or evolve your relationship with the Lord? One of the things that I would say that meditation has helped me understand is God's purpose for my life. I've been slightly confused about it a few times, but with meditation, it helps me stay a little bit more grounded in that purpose for sure. Also, even with hearing God. So clarity in knowing when God is speaking to me, differentiating between God and differentiating between whatever else, maybe it's my mind or anything else. And you spoke about how you still like to do the meditation on your own. So when you're doing this throughout the week, how does that transition look like? Can you give us a little bit more detail? I can actually give you a rundown of how my typical day 
goes. After the session on Saturday, I usually meditate using the one hour long um, recording from YouTube. I do that every morning and sometimes in between my lunch time, I would also do that, but without the YouTube. So this time it's just even taking time to just have some peace and quiet. Sometimes I'm not necessarily meditating on a problem or an issue. It's just meditating and being quiet to hear from God. So I do that periodically actually and usually at night too before I go to bed. And as you said you were in the healthcare space, has this helped you de-stress on the job? Definitely. Of- oh, definitely. I find there are some times where I would just shut my office door, turn up the light and start to meditate. I just have the hour of meditation playing just to help me ground myself. And that's another way meditation has actually helped in situations where I felt like I don't necessarily have the answers or sometimes I'm actually maybe upset <laughs> about certain situations, it's helped me to be patient. Like just take take a step back and just think about the situation first, meditate, even as I'm doing stuff on a day-to-day basis. Is that common practice in your field? Do people often meditate? Do they have ways that they de-stress in that way? I haven't heard anyone talk about it as much. I know people do other, for lack of better words, worldly, like yoga and things like that. But Christian meditation, not as much, no. So then in terms of everything you spoke about, anxiety led you to meditation and you've been doing this at work and all these things. Can you describe what is meditation? Um, Meditation to me is pondering on things. It could be anything. It could be you thinking about, for instance, let's say scripture and you're thinking about it, um, thinking about what Um, it could mean. When I usually meditate on a scripture, just to give an example to better simplify it, when I get a scripture, right, I'm trying to visualize those things in the scripture, if that makes any sense. So that's pretty much what visualization is, just pondering on things Mm. to get answers. If you could speak directly to someone in a similar situation as you, how would you encourage someone with like a similar testimony, a similar story as you? I would say if you're new to meditation and you have like... Um, anxiety, for instance, be patient with yourself. I would say create like a safe space, not necessarily the space itself, but even just a mental space. So take time, be consistent. It doesn't have to be for an hour. (laughs) It could be five minutes a day or even in that moment. A great way to start is actually using hour of meditation on YouTube and just even starting, even if it's just the exhortation, I find that the exhortation piece of the hour of meditation that we do helps a lot. There's so many things that you can get from there. So be consistent, take time, be patient with yourself. Sometimes you may not feel it in the moment and you might feel it like during the week. For me as well, if I'm following the hour of meditation, or even if I'm doing it personally, the one piece that I love is the declaration at the end that Dr. Emmanuel does. And that just helps me from overthinking what I've received. And just like I said earlier, there's some things that I didn't feel right after the session, but during the week I felt increased joy, like increased peace, just being able to clearly think things through and come up with solutions with problems. There are times where the problem can be happening right in front of you, but inwardly you're meditating. Nobody around you knows that, but you're meditating and just thinking things through in your mind. Well, thank you for sitting down with us and talking about your experience with home.